it was almost 101 years ago when a diminutive white man from Algona, Iowa brought his charter Kansas City Monarchs as one of the original eight Negro League franchises, James Leslie Wilkinson. And initially, Rube Foster, who formed the Negro Leagues here in Kansas City, right around the corner from where we operate, February 13, 1920, he really did not want any white ownership. He was really opposed to it. But he kept hearing all of these great things about James Leslie Wilkinson who was a 2,000 man in the 1900s. We talk about folks who don't see color. Well, J.L. Wilkinson literally did not see color. He built his entire living in black baseball. And he would bring his charter Kansas City Monarchs as one of the original eight franchises that started the Negro National League in 1920 they would become one of the greatest baseball franchises not only in black baseball history but in baseball history. One losing season in their almost 40 year existence in the Negro Leagues. The people in this community loved the Kansas City Monarchs. So today we are so proud to team with formerly the Kansas City T-Bones to rebrand this new organization as the great Kansas City Monarchs. To have uh, uh, this honor of carrying on the Monarchs legacy is a dream come true for us. And uh, I think it's going to make a huge difference in Kansas City. Uh, the Monarchs were a historic brand, um, and uh, we, we are committed to carry on the legacy uh, that, that the Negro League Baseball Museum has um, invested in this name and now shared, shared with us. For any museum, and particularly history museums and cultural institutions like ours, it is all about how do you make history relevant. And that's exactly what we're doing. When those young players put on those monarch pinstripes, the legacy of Satchel Paige and Buck O'Neill, mm -hmm, Hilton Smith, they play on. 